okay, you voted in favor for going for the plant life, so that's the way we'll go. Years ago, to a restricted area in the lower levels of the university lab, there are computer files detailing the plant life segment inside. And, uh, Be careful, I am fearful of what might have happened to some of the experiments that Archer was working on. After the lab exploded, strange life form readings have appeared on the computer. Stay here, I'll check out the lab alone. <coughs> also, um, I will show off the weapon soon after we get the spread gun, which I believe you will get on every uh, path of, of every branch path, whatever. Actually, now that I think of it, I wonder what are the missables. Well, we have missed the invis invisibility and fire retardant pellets and I don't really know where the flash pellets are to be found. But it's back to the university. Archer told Kit to brush up on his studies, so I guess we'll be doing that in spades now. Oh, yes. By the way, we can... Well, actually, I suppose we could have done that way earlier, but now we can head to the right here. There's not much, much to see here. A couple of power-ups, and this is the area where we would have uh, fought the flying bot at the beginning of the game. Now that I think of it, I'm not sure if I've ever seen that doorway open here. Oh well, back to the university. Don't you dare shoot me in the face with a flamethrower. That kinda burns. <coughs> and by now the university is all uh, extinguished. <coughs> And most of it is blocked off, well, most of it is area at least. So I actually don't need that. <coughs> oh. I'll make my throat bill be a bit more cleared up. Okay, let's take a look at the inventory. We have lab security code and keycard to lab. Now it open. Well, I guess it actually already opened the door from far away. And here's another door inside. However, we can't open this eye. I'm not sure, but I think that if we rescued Archer earlier on, he would have given his uh, keycard to pass through this door. But he didn't, so we can't, because you chose not to. Now we are in the labs, which appears to be full of strange mutants. <coughs> I wonder if I had it went to explore the biology department in my university if I found this kind of stuff. And those things, they can block shots like those gang members with the sword, so let's switch to the breaker. Oops. And also, the floor is covered in unhealthy goo. <laughs> now, and there are those pots which spawn endless amounts of face huggers or something. looking for is some... Ah, could go up there. And also, uh, we can't get to the top section of this um, map from down here. We would have had to use the upper door. Uh -uh. 
so is that accessible from down there? I don't think so. Um, but there's something useful. Who knows, maybe that crate we passed by was actually the one that contained flash pellets. decided to dispense with <laughs> background music in this area, it provides a nice, suitably creepy atmosphere. <laughs> and the uh, lock to open this door is up there, so here's where the bats would have emerged if we entered from the top. Oh, energy. And I suppose we, are, we have to get to that zero lock. Okay, now we can continue, I think. If these mutants will just leave us alone. Okay. I don't think we are... Ah, health is always nice. And I think that's about it for this region. Okay, we have a nice amount of time left. And there's the zero door. <laughs> Lab level 3 and there's a huge honking claw arm thing mounting through the ceiling. Oh, what the hell were they doing here? And that purple... Uh, circuit board type thingy. I have to get past these strange creatures and get these biotech files on, the, on my computer so I can tell where the shipment is going. But for whatever reason we can't leave the way we came in, so instead we shall ever press onward and Surely we'll, we won't find anything uh, nasty here. At least of all the owner of that big hand. No sorry. I'm sure that'll never happen. Not, not in a million years. Uh, what the hell is that thing? Looks something out of con. Looks like something out of contra. Anyway. The vulnerable part is the opening hatch in its forehead, which seems like rather poor design for whoever made this creature. And the arm will come down in a repeating pattern with three different movements. Let's go over them. Okay, it will pound on the, on the floor and you have to go between its strikes. Will come up from the uh, from the top, and the safe spot is in the upper left corner. And then it will sweep down from the front, and the safe spot is right in the in front down and in front of that thing. And repeat. Yet, and I did the wrong move and... Okay, at least the homing missiles aren't all that useful since they'll just as easily go after those <coughs> crawler thingies. <coughs> and although it blew up a little, it's not done yet. It 
needs to take more damage and yeah, it doesn't look like anything else is vulnerable. But doesn't it say use its mouth? That would seem like an obvious point of attack. Oh, out of energy. <coughs> well, it's been a while since we've had to use any energy refill kits. Okay. Wrong place again. Okay, let's use this too. Okay, is it pounding time again? Why, yes it is. <coughs> is it time to end this video soon? Oh, yes it is indeed. That too. <coughs> okay, I was in the right place that time, but... A bit too much swinging. And now... The whole place is filling up with goo, but... We'll do the daring rescue next.